Hello everyone, I'm back. Blake, WorksDB71, and uh, we'll jump right into this. Um, playing in the background now, I'll continue with this Opus 1 release. Um, we are going to play Andrew Violet's Black Tea. Um, it has a soprano uh, singer with harp, contrabass, and percussion. Very interesting combination. And you'll hear it in the background. So, uh, really what this video is about is a, a couple of books that I've read recently. Uh, the one I talk most about is Leroy Jones, or uh, now known as Amiri Baraka, uh, Blues People, and uh, his previous, well, both, uh, this one was actually written first, a, a later uh, piece of writing, or a collection of writings, Black Music, uh, by Leroy Jones. Um, so, I'll get into uh, this one first because I think this one is a must. It, it's, it even says here, so you can believe it, it is a must. <laughs> so, um, Blues People uh, by Leroy Jones was written in 1963, I think. Uh, let me just make sure. 63. And uh, then was, uh, had a... a a, re, a, a preface added uh, in 1999. Um, extremely good book. Uh, Leroy Jones um, uh, got very involved in, in music and um, uh, especially the, uh, the New York Art Qu Quartet, um, which you may or may not know. Uh, anyway, he did a lot of writing and uh, probably one of his uh, best pieces of writing is Blues People. Um, unfortunately, it took me a while to get to this because I just didn't really know how important it was. I thought, Blues People, it's about blues, and what what do I need with it? Well, the fact is, uh, practically all of the music, well, he makes a great argument here, which I think many people uh, will, will stake a lot of claim in about all of the music that we have here in America um, jazz of course rhythm and blues rock and roll uh, a lot of the uh, you know blues the different blues forms um, all uh, kind of originated or was very heavily influenced by uh, the musics of uh, the slaves and the post-slave uh, blacks, African Americans uh, in America, and uh, Leroy Jones makes a fantastic uh, a, a document, really, or an overview of the different stages um, that that this music went through, from the the field hollers and the slave songs um, through. Uh, the blues music, uh, classic blues music, city blues music, urban blues music uh, of the late 1800s through the the early teens, and then uh, its its uh, inclusion or the growth of jazz or jazz jazz um, out of that. Um, so very 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 good. Uh, education, a uh, long lecture, uh, a semester of, of, of education here uh, through that what seems to be a broad span of music um, really is just an evolving music um, that that he does a, a, an excellent job of, of honing in on. Now, uh, I, I'm dumping a lot of praise on this book. Very, very good book. Um, I, I did not realize how important blues is to practically anything that we list, we are listening to here in, in the United States anyway. Now, um, a lot of European musics, other world musics, you know, they have their own forms and, and things that they they followed. A lot of the the Euro Western tradition stuff, um, but blues blues did uh, break away from that quite a bit. If you if you did, if you take in even if you take into account uh, the effect that uh, Christian hymns and gospel singing kind of songs 
uh, may have had in some of the blues tradition. So, um, lots of praise here. Uh, it ends uh, with a pretty big chapter called The Modern Scene. Now, remember, this was written in 1963, and I have to take that into consideration where he spends a lot of time uh, showing the connection and, and kind of talking about the, the jazz uh, going on at the time, which if you remember in the early 60s, um, Coltrane and Coleman and Taylor and those guys, uh, they're, breaking, they're breaking away into uh, a more avant-garde, uh, more experimental, back to uh, improvisational uh, period of music. So it kind of it kind of ends abruptly uh, for me, uh, but uh, you know it's 1963. So Leroy, um, the the benefit of having 10 or 20 years uh, minimum that you know we have you know 40 or 50 now that we can look back and and make a lot of uh, more educated uh, comments about what was going on in the late 50s and early 60s. He didn't have that benefit, but he does a good job uh, at least showing, and it's interesting because he's he's picking out people and ideas that are beginning to be interesting at that point that we find later to be, you know, he, he, he had his finger right on the pulse, so uh, he did a great job. So lots of praise on blues people. Uh, I highly recommend it. If you enjoy jazz music, you need to have, you need to read this to, to uh, better appreciate where a lot of the music's come from uh, and the tie that, that it makes. If you enjoy rock and roll, if you enjoy rhythm and blues, if you enjoy soul, if you enjoy funk, if you enjoy, I don't know, what else have I left out uh, that is really um, born out of uh, the United States, um, you you need to read this book. It is really really good, and and his writing is is fantastic. Uh, very easy to read. Um, you don't get held up in any way by the terminology that he uses, or you know any annoying, repetitious things which I have run into in some of the other books that I've read. Uh, truly, a really really good book. Highly recommended. Blues People by Leroy Jones. Uh, now, later, Black Music by Leroy Jones, a collection of uh, really various articles and reviews and things that uh, Leroy made from 1962 up through 1967 time frame. This particular volume was released in, I think, 68. Let me make sure. Uh, yeah, 1968, the Apollo edition. <laughs> um, so this is a collection of a lot of the the writings that that uh, Leroy makes, and I'll I'll show you some of the titles there. So some very interesting people: uh, Monk, Coltrane, Rollins, uh, the Avant Garde, Wayne Shorter. You know, just a lot of lot of good information here. Um, you hear some hesitation in my voice because there's one gripe that I have, and I've shared this with Mike Johnston um, and Teddy. I, you know, this. So at this time in the in the late '60s, uh, Leroy has a few bones to pick, and uh, although there's a, I mean, there's a lot of great information here that that he points out. Again, he's a great writer. There, there's no question about that. He's got a lot of good information. There's no question about that. But what I found in here that was trouble, not troubling, but after the third or fourth time, it just got, all right, you're doing this again. Uh, he, <laughs> he starts picking bones just about, you know, everything, everything the white man has, is doing or has done is, is, is the worst in the world. Yes, I get that. I understand that there were some bad times. But to include just pot shots, you know, gut punches and face slaps and all of that in every article, um, I, I haven't, 
I haven't confirmed this because I cannot believe that editors of these different magazines that he wrote for allowed this in. So I got to believe that when it says there have been some updates to some of these in the beginning, that he just added this to everything that he could uh, because he doesn't let up from 1962, which this was done in 63. You never got any of that in here. From 1962 to 67, every chance he got, he he just he he throw in a bunch of you know off off topic paragraphs about you know this bad thing and that bad thing and how and how uh, you know every non African American was was causing the world to just be a, a brutal mess. Now again, thumbs down me if you want. You know, doesn't bother me. I'm just saying it makes this reading a little difficult in the sense that, well, not difficult, it's just, I don't know, mm, childish is not an invalid word. There's probably a better word, immature, that he just keeps coming back to this over and over and over. Uh, having said that, it's, it's a good read for the information of the time. Um, again, I bet the original versions of these articles or these reviews didn't have all that in it uh, so you know take that for 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 what it's worth still worthwhile black music leroy jones uh, blues people a must uh again you, you've talked uh, you've heard me say that you know uh as serious as what as as serious as your life is in the top three now I'm gonna expand to top five you gotta have blues people in there um, if you like jazz music um, really good solid foundation for that so I'm gonna end it now so I won't keep rambling my records out time to flip it uh, well, actually we'll put on something new and uh, maybe we'll come back to it soon so here you go blues people Leroy Jones uh, highly highly recommended and uh, we'll come back again next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.